All right, I'm Shannon Poole. We're here at the Chassis Doctor Shop. I'm here with Jay, owner, operator. He is in charge of redoing the Red Bull after the wreck we had in uh, last February. So here we go. This is it. We've done a lot of things to correct problems with the other car. Obviously, we're using the same body. I fixed the body. Uh, Keen Parts were supplied us a new top, convertible top. Keen Parts supplied us with the uh, windshield frame, which was the start for the whole build, pretty much. And we had to wait for that for a while because of COVID and just couldn't get parts back then. But we got it figured out. We got us a new seat from Ultra Carbon, Greg Scherpanik Ultra Carbon. Uh, it's a really nice build. It's 10 times better than what it was. You got all chrome alley. Some of these welds are off the chain, man. It's just, it's crazy. Jay was in an accident with the ladder, the ladder one, a while back, and he pretty much put this together with his crew from a wheelchair. So he's back walking now, got a boot on, looks ridiculous, but yeah. he's gonna make it. Oh. So some of the things that we did to, uh, obviously to make some changes to the car uh, so that the car works better was, the, I guess the first place you could start is the four link. So we got a Matukas Motorsports four link bracket. Jay uh, sewed it in there. It's the, tell us a little bit about that, Jay. How... So a couple things I noticed on the old car was the four link bars and lengths were awful short. So we basically lengthened the four link between the rear end housing and the brackets on the chassis itself. Based off the wheelbase of the car, we set that up at like 23 inches from the actual center line to the number one bar. Pretty standard for what you'd run on, on this wheelbase car. Um, Basically just tried to set all that up so that it worked better than the old car. That was a big part of it. Um, with that, moved the driver's compartment forward a couple inches. So that right there is throwing some weight forward. The other big change was moving the motor and training forward about nine inches compared to the old chassis. So the old, the old chassis, the motor and training was more in a traditional OEM location. In this case, we moved it forward and based off of... Uh, big block Chevy and nitrous combination and whatnot and, and set that up where it should be, lengthen the wheelbase a little bit. So long story short, we got a lot of weight to the front end. Um, so four length set up and, and weight placement throughout the car should be a lot better going forward. And hopefully this thing stays on the ground instead of taking flight in the future. Right, I'm hoping for that too. All right, so thanks for watching. If you want to find anything else about the Chassis Doctor, go to his Facebook page or his website. That's it right there. We're out.